hands. Balance, dear one, is something that we often think about in our lives. Maybe you, you think, oh, balance, I could use more of that. I would love to be able to better achieve that in my life. And you will know whether you tend to be one of the people who push themselves a lot and whose balance requires to step back from doing into being or if you tend to just take it super chill and maybe your balance would be taking action a little more often or a little bit more passionately maybe for the majority of people we are too much on the doing side we get very busy with all the things that we think life requires of us, we ourselves require of us, the people in our life may request of us, and often we feel obliged to hustle and get as many of those requests in as we possibly can, instead of finding a good capacity that we wish to invest in the requests of others, and also prioritizing the capacity that we need to invest in ourselves to be able to maintain a certain level of energy inside ourselves and to restore that energy so that we can be of service to others, so that we can be in our center, so that we can be love, that we can be an expression of love, so that we can bring the best to the table every time we show up, so that we respond from that best place instead of reacting. Reacting often happens when our energy is already depleted and we don't have reserves to get back to and then we lash out and say something unkind or we get angry inside and that eats us up or we just feel completely overwhelmed and then shut down and don't get the things done that really matter to us for all of those reasons it is crucial that we take the time to restore our energy and whether that is by going for long walks in nature by taking a yoga class or by sitting down and meditating or by laying in your hammock and reading a good book that's up to you playing with your pet anything that makes you come home to yourself anything that's just for the being not the distracting part where we dive into media and we come back out an hour later and don't know what happened to us but the willingness to be with ourselves to be with ourselves no matter what the day before or after held to feel deep down that we are okay no matter what goes on in the world around us we can always choose to respond instead of reacting no matter how dire the circumstances and they can be dire I acknowledge that and have compassion for everyone who goes through challenges and along with having compassion for everybody who's going through challenges let's have compassion for ourselves as we go through challenges when we go through a growth phase whether that is mental or emotional spiritual 
or even physical when we were little. That often comes with growing pains. And we can hold space for those growing pains. And instead of giving into self-doubt and questioning our worth, let's take a step back. Let's doubt the doubt. Let's look at that growth from a little further away and realize, oh, I am responding better in this area. I am on a growing path here. I can see improvement over time. And even though I'm still in the thick of it, I can see that I'm growing and I can give myself credit for making my very best effort every day. And with that, with that credit, also comes allowing myself to rest, to restore, to recover, so that I can try even better tomorrow, so that my best self tomorrow is a better version of me today. And with that, dear one, Take another deep breath and let it go. Trust in yourself. You got this. Balance is a dynamic thing. When we walk on a tightrope, we can't do that without swaying from left to right to find our balance in the center because it's always in the moment and life will always make us tip one way or another so let's dance that dance with life let's make it a full expression of our joy and our love that comes from deep inside of us that we can choose to spread every day that love that never ends. That love that you can feel when you place a hand on your heart. When a little smile curls the corners of your mouth. When that softness comes into your eyes. When you can hold yourself like any loving mother would hold her child, like any loving father would hold his child, we can be there for ourselves, and by being there for ourselves, we hold space for everybody else who is going through their process. And by that, we lift all of our vibrations higher. Take another deep breath here. <sighs> Stay in this holding space for yourself. The holding space allows you to find the balance with more grace. The more centered can get yourself, the more centered the world around you is going to feel. That hurricane of life is going to turn into a joyful dance, and you're going to be part of it every step along the way. Love in all ways. Namaste.